Hello there, we're at Bognor after the U's 1-0 win in a hard-fought game. Uh, pretty tough match, but the right outcome. Um, hard work, that one, Chris, but a really, really disciplined effort from the team. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was tough. Um, we knew it would be like in the first game when we played them, we felt they were um, they're one of the best teams we've played. And I think they showed that again today. Um, it was a little bit touch and go towards the end and probably we just said to the lads after the game it, it shouldn't get to that point I thought, I thought we got in some great attacking positions mm. especially in the first half we felt we could pull their back line around a little bit and we did that but the final ball let us down so that was that was frustrating because at the end it's sort of a nervy 1-0 and you're, you're seeing one out Yeah. when in reality especially in the first half we got in some unbelievable positions it, it was just a final ball and even then and we did get in some of the, the finishing was um, not what it could be. Yeah. So um, delighted to obviously win the game against a very good side, um, but felt it could have been more straightforward and less stressful towards the end. To be honest, yeah, for sure. Yeah. From the from a, from a setup point of view, John, Ufa, and Freddie. Yeah getting through a huge amount of work yeah. today, weren't yeah. they? And, yeah. and then with um, Jack and Adam and Geordie and Ansu starting mm. off and, yeah. and then David, yeah. um, really depended on the workload of John and Freddie today, mm. didn't it? Yeah, I thought John and uh, Freddie were, were excellent. We just said to John after the game, so for all of his assists and his goals and his attacking contributions this year, I, I think that was one of his best performances mm. going back towards the goal. And I, I think that's a sign you know when your team's in a in a relatively good place when you've got your best and most threatening attacking players working hard, desperate to clean sheets, doubling up in wide areas, running back towards their own goal to protect our goal just as much as what they're trying to threaten the opposition. So that was that was really pleasing and, and Freddie I thought played very well. Um, just a shame obviously he's had to come off injured because it yeah. It, it just meant that we had to shuffle the pack a little bit and we had a couple of flares in square pegs in round holes, which wasn't ideal, which probably contributed a little bit towards a nervy finish as well. So, um, yeah, John and uh, Fred, very, very good. Yeah, and Geordie as well, because, mm. of, because of that, he was, he was um, able to move in and out, in and out. Yeah. Maybe the final ball not always there, but the positions mm. that all three of them, and particularly Geordie, were taking up were excellent. Yeah, jo jo I thought Geordie was... Um, and certainly out there with one of the best players on the pitch. I thought he was excellent, especially in the first half. I thought, I've, I've to be fair, like his decision making and his his final ball was one of the better ones. To be honest, I thought he got in some great positions. I thought his decision making was really good. Mm. Um, I, I, he looked. Um, I thought he at times he looked a level above um, the game today, which which is what we believe he can be. So yeah. that's exciting. So um, yeah, no, really pleased with George. Um, as I said, we, we've worked all week. We felt that runs from deep could cause problems, and Geordie was very good at that. Um, and see, that's where the the penalty comes from and the winning goal. So where Finn Chapo's come on, um, Dav a little bit of movement feet, pulled the centre back out, and then just getting that diagonal running behind from Chapo. He gets in there brilliantly, he times it really well, and um, obviously he's brought down for the the penalty. But yeah, uh, yeah. He, Massive contribution from Chapo when he came on as well. Yeah, yeah, showed a lot of maturity the way he mm. took that on actually, and yeah, um, clever, held yeah. it up, took it wide, and yeah. uh, he, he drew the foul in yeah. a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, didn't he? yeah. It's the sort of thing that we haven't done enough of, unfortunately, because we are a bit green and a mm. bit naive and a bit too honest sometimes. And you know, it was a penalty, but he also made the most of it. So yeah. um, why not? Well, everyone else does. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that's part of Barcelona. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, he's, he's obviously got in front of the defender, great touch across, and. He's got his body between the defender and the ball, and you know the contact's come, and he's, he's obviously gone over. So, uh, but the the run and Geordie's ball in behind, um, uh, well worth yeah. well worth the winning goal. Yeah, and a clean sheet. Mm. Um, fairly straightforward saves for Charlie on the yeah, whole. Yeah. So, so the back three, excellent from them. Yeah. I thought they were solid, weren't they? And they yeah. took a lot on. And they they kept them at bay. Yeah, I mean Bognor had a bit of pressure towards the end, um, but again we've had that a couple of times where we've almost been under the pump a little bit. But then when you think about it, Charlie's not really had a lot to do. So, and I think that's part of being a good side is is recognising that 
you can't always have the ball, mm. which is what, obviously what we want to do. But in certain moments, you're going to have to um, weather spells and go through periods without having the football. And I thought we'd done that really well because that, that can create a little bit of panic and a bit of anxiety because of the pressure. And you feel like, you know, like near our goal and uh, building a little bit of momentum. And I thought we defended with real composure yeah. and maturity. And again, they had a bit of the ball towards the end. But like you said, Chaz didn't really have a great deal to do. So no. that's good. No, well, good. Yeah, Excellent result. You. On yeah. to win getting Finchley Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you go and have something to eat and drink. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then the journey back. Yeah, no, thank you very and much. And we'll see you thank then. You. Brilliant. Good thank one, you, Chris. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.